there are some great hidden reverb and delays in the Roland S1 and I'm going to go over them as quickly as I can. Uh, we'll get a tune playing first of all and we're going to do, I think we'll do delay first because delay is the most interesting in some respects. Now if you want to press on shift and go on to uh, key number 13 you're going to go into um, synchronized delay and you can actually change this. So when you go into synchronized delay uh, just just increase the delay and listen to it now. Absolutely mind blowing. Absolutely crazy. This one you can't uh, change, but you can change the other ones. You've got time, you've got delay mode, you've got feedback mode, you've got local and high cut. So we're going to go into time now. Time just sets the delay time. And look at this. You can adjust it. So you can have some great time changing the delay time from 1 16th etc. I like it that much, I'm going to show you it again, but it just proves what you can do on there. So don't be, um, just use one delay. Right, so what else can we do on the delay? I, must, I, must, I'm, I just love playing with that anyway. Um, but basically, you can change a lot. Time delay, don't go too crazy like I am, but I'm just going to show you what it can actually do. Listen to that one there, that's bouncing all over the place. You know, eighth note, triplets, what all do you want? Right, let's just go into another one now, if I can find my way back into the control there. That's the 8 triplet one I've just been into. Now we're going to go into delay level model, of which you can adjust as well. And you can adjust that by uh, just turning up the, um, you know, shift key there. Just listen to that as well. So that's the level, uh, sorry, delay level mode there. Just another delay, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 delays. And look how crazy and balmy that. That's the delay level mode. So you're looking for a real good repeat sound. That's the one you want. I've got I've got a um, another synth, and they don't have make many uh, options for delays in this. Right, we're going to go to the feedback delay. Just see that feedback of repetition. So you can see that bouncing back against itself. I suppose it's an infinite delay, but it does bounce about quite a bit. What we're going to do now is we're going to go into low cut delay. So it cuts the frequencies between the frequencies in the set. So it's basically just cutting some of the frequencies off there. I don't think it's as messy as the other one. And then finally, even though it did take a bit of finding there, we've got the high cut delay which cuts the frequencies above the frequencies in the set. I just listen to it and just sound how good it sounds. But basically that's delay. You've got one, two, three, yeah, over six delays. I only see that and I've got one delay or maybe two. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to stop that and we're going to go, um, we're actually going to go uh, into the reverb because the reverb is just as uh, giving as well. On the reverb you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven I believe. On the reverbs you've got different types, you've got time, volume adjust, low cut, um, delay, pre-delay, high cut, low cut, and finally the density of the reverb. So it's a matter of, to uh, of taste and choice, but you've got to do a bit of menu diving, but when you go in there, they're absolutely fantastic. Just listen to that, I just have a standard delay. I call it a cathedral delay, but there isn't such a thing on the, um, on the Roland S1, but it's just fun to turn it right up on the volume. So we've got just a volume delay here, where you can just, it just basically plays with the volume. You just hear it, it's just batting about a bit, like it's in a, like it's in a, a, a big old room there. Now that one is crazy, but great. Right, we're going to go into a pre-delay here, just the time until the reverb sound starts to output. To me it's just crazy, but I just love it. Oh, low cut, back to the good old low cut, and I put some frequency between the frequencies and the sets. Just as crazy as the rest, but for a hundred and fifty pound machine, it's fantastic. High cut delay, there you go. Turn it, whack it right up on the reverb. Maybe I'm going a bit on top there, but absolutely fantastic. And then finally, I've got density. Adjust the density of the reverb sound. I think in French you can hear that. So basically, that's just a fantastic look at the delay and the reverb. Hidden below a bit of menu diving, but absolutely 
fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. Um, Go and find your delay and reverb. Please follow and subscribe for more. Thank you.